Phoenix, Arizona, a busy city known for its wild animals. In this hot desert city, you will find bobcats, javelinas, desert tortoises, gila monsters, tarantulas, and western diamondback rattlesnakes. Today, we will be studying the western diamondback rattlesnake. In July, one of the hottest months of the year, a team was sent to Phoenix to search and study rattlesnakes. The team will spend three nights looking for these amazing animals. On the first night of the search, the team went to North Scottsdale to try to find these reptiles. Here is animal expert Elias Lerner with the first exploration for these amazing animals. Hey guys, so next, uh, this is the next episode again. We're out here in the beautiful terrain, if you look at it that way. We got, um, tons of good area for Mojave, not, not the montanes, but we got snakes out here, and that's all that matters. So I'm going to be looking around these rocks over here, seeing what we got, but, um, beautiful area, we should get something. We just had a great rain push through today, so I think we should have a pretty high chance of getting something. Okay guys, we have a tarp over here. I think it might be good first. I need to check these holes or these uh crevices. I really hope that this is a tarp. Yes, it's uh it, I actually don't know what it is, but it's what the hole is if you get something under it. Really old tent. Okay, so Alex, keep the camera rolling. You stand right here. I'm gonna flip it this way. Mm -hmm. So let's get this in. After an hour, the team still had no luck in finding any animals. Okay guys, so um, we are out here. Um, so some of the species we could find are Western Diamondbacks, Mojaves, um, Gila Monsters, and then a ton of other mammals like coyotes and bobcats. But, uh, as I was kind of just telling Alex off camera, it is, I mean, if we look out this, guys, there are no resources, there's no, there's just, there's just nothing here. So I think we're going to have to call it, uh, but we're going to, we might find something on the way back. It wouldn't be impossible. It's just, I just don't, I don't see it happening here. Unfortunately, the team did not find anything on the first night. The next night, the team set off in central Scottsdale, to try to find rattlesnakes somewhere else. Kind of walking, got all my stuff. Got the vast desert out here. Last time I looped around this way, I found a western banded gecko already, but those are really common. I bet we'll find like 20 more. Let's hope we get a rattle here. So let's keep you guys on because you never know in the Arizona desert, these things are everywhere sometimes. Uh, just walk. I'm walking and I saw this. I looked down in there and there's a little spiny lizard. So I'm gonna get him out. Just gonna see if he's okay. Use my tongs. He's good. Let's uh let's get a hold of him. He might bite, but got a hold of him. I believe he is a Clark's spiny lizard. As you guys can see, he was just down there. I had to kind of get him with my tongs because it's just so dirty. So I just had to kind of get him up onto the side with my tongs. But as you guys can see, I got this beautiful, what I, again, what I believe to be a Clark. I mean, he's not very beautiful. He was just in water for a while. So he'll, I think he'll be okay though. Uh, he's really skinny. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, like green belly. 
so you guys can see. So this is obviously a male. We're gonna go put him off on this side. Let me get a photo. So I'm just gonna put him down over here. Kind of off. He is very, uh, he's tired, so we're gonna just. Uh, and these are very fast lizards. Almost impossible to catch usually, but he was kind of trapped. So I was able to get a really unique experience and actually get my hands on him. But yeah, let's get a diamond back. Okay guys, so we were road cruising and we were able to spot this Sonoran gopher snake. This is a very, very common snake. They mimic the rattlesnakes a lot in their, uh, let me get off the road, in their, um, you know, in their appearance, as you guys can see. I mean, these are easily, you know, I mean, these are really close. Um, actually, I, I mean, I knew this, I, when I first got out and I was kind of far away, I thought this guy might be a rattler. But then as I got closer, I realized um, he was not a rattlesnake. He was actually a Sonoran gopher snake. Super, super common snake. But I've actually caught one before, and they are really cool. Uh, he's really nice for a gopher. So I'm going to get a ton of photos of him. So we are going to walk him off the road. Yeah, I know. He was going that way, but the thing is, guys, there is a house that way. So we're going to go out this way. So this is a, like I said, a snoring gopher snake, completely harmless. They do mimic rattlesnakes quite a bit, though, um, you know, just in their appearance. And they do also, you know, rattle their tail, pretending, putting on a great show. And they just put them right on down, right off into the bush, wasting no time into just zipping around. You guys can easily see how it might be hard to find something because, I mean, look at that. I mean, this tiny bush, and he has just disappeared into it. So, yeah, let's get another snake. The second night was much more of a success with the rescue of a spiny lizard and the finding of a Sonoran gopher snake. But there were still no findings of the western diamondback. The team had been visiting the Phoenix Herpetological Society the last few days, and the experts there told the team that an area in South Phoenix is a great spot to look for the Western Diamondback. So later that night, the team set off to South Phoenix. We now go to animal expert Elias Lerner with the exploration of South Phoenix. We're out here um, on this beautiful mountain in Arizona looking for western diamondback rattlesnakes, tiger rattlesnakes, Mojave's black tails, anything we can find we're going to try to catch. I got my tongs, he has his tongs, or hook, and, um, we should hopefully find something. I've got a really good view. I'm not going to tell you guys the exact location because I, uh, I like to keep my herping area secret, but let's, uh, let's get going. So we're just kind of looking around these rock piles. So. Okay, guys, so we're just looking around these rock piles because now the diamondbacks oftentimes like to sit in these rock piles. We have some snake viper roots on. We're going to get across this and hopefully get up on that mountain where I see some rock formation. We can get black tails and tiger rattlesnake. The montane rattlers, as they're called. get in here you can see that this is a really nice area for uh, diving back in if you guys feel a little bit of a uh, windy day but if we feel the rocks they're still warm so that the diamondbacks are going to be soaking up those those rays we're going to cut straight across what's on you straight across this mountain okay guys okay guys so we we're kind of made it over here. I think we're gonna try to cut it across this rock formation over here. But all, I, but what I do know, it's drizzling a little bit. It's uh, windy. It's a lot cooler. It's been about 115 huge heat wave. 
So we have been, uh, you know, waiting for a bit of a cooler day. And today was just perfect. So decided to come out to a really nice spot. You guys can see this is beautiful. Uh, if you guys know where this is, don't put it in the comments. I'd like to keep my spot secret so other people don't come here, hurt, or get rid of all the snakes. So, uh, I can please ask you that. But we're going to be looking around these bushes, the bases of these bushes, and in these little uh, tree areas. That looks cleared. But I think we're going to make it over to those rocks over there, and I think that's where we might see a lot of stuff. There's a diamondback rattlesnake right there, guys. That guy is beautiful. Wow. Be very careful. Very. Stay back. Hey, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Rattler. Whoa. Look at this guy. Whew. So, guys. Yeah. That yeah, camera, camera, camera on. Owen. Okay, guys. So I walked up, and I noticed this beautiful western diamondback rattlesnake. I know for a fact. He's a diamondback, um, but he is so pretty. This is one of the most, this is one of my favorite uh, snakes that you can find in this area, is the diamondback. I just, I was walking up and I just said diamondback, and look at that, he's in the perfect defensive posture, right where he just wants to, you guys notice he's not rattling, he doesn't feel dangered, because I'm very far back, Alex uh, shows you. I am over, he's over there. I'm over here. I am I am at a safe distance to where I do not think I will be bitten. I think that I'm in a perfect little Yeah, we're like uh we're like at probably like five feet away from this. And he is a small he is he is what you expect in the Arizona desert. Not a very big snake. He's not really oh what back up Alex. He's not really trying to bite or anything. He's just kind of woo! <laughs> he's just kind of trying to there's a rattle. Let's back up a little. He's just trying to trying to move away. If you guys notice, you know, my dad was just over there. And if you guys notice, he is moving in the way that there is no people. Back up a little, Alex. If he comes forward, Alex, you back up. It's just to keep a safe distance from the animal at all times. Oh, he's so pretty. So um, this is why I love the Diamondback. These guys have perfect coloring. You guys saw I just walked right up on him. And um, let's get a hold of him. Don't want him coming too close to us. Because that is, oh, back up, Alex. Just a little. Don't want him. We're still out of Look strike range. Tail, wow. That is a beautiful tail. Yeah, that tail is awesome. Yeah, just trying to stay out of strike range. You don't want to really be struck at. That, that is, it's beautiful. These are beautiful animals. He's just, uh, that rattle is kind of telling him, this is where he wants. Now, in, on, in um, let me make sure there's no other diamond back. Now, in Arizona, these guys usually get to about three feet. In Texas, they get much bigger because there's more resources. But here, not as much resources. They get much, much smaller. Um, and that is just because it is so dry. He is a beautiful, beautiful western. Just trying to keep him here. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is not something you guys should ever try. He is a venomous animal. Oh. Bush. It's not a good area for him. Yep. I know, I know. Guys, this is how he hunts. This is how this animal's gonna hunt. He's gonna be in here. Alex, back up a little. I'm gonna pull him on out. Okay? Woo! Look at that strike. You hear that rattle? That is him giving off that warning. He does not want to mess with. He wants us far away from him as possible. That rest Beautiful, beautiful piece of the rattlesnake. One arm on out. Woo! -hoo! Look at him. That is the hobby, that is, back up a little. That is the staple. That is the Western Diamondback rattlesnake for you guys. And I think we're gonna see more. Woohoo! Look at him. He's, look at the venom all over my tongs. Look at all the venom all over my tongs. It's crazy. He bit my tongs so much. These guys are one of the more striking snakes, but. Woo! Yeah, just a little bit. But as you guys can see, 
his main defense is just rattling, staying back, and if, look, look, listen, I'm back here, I'm not moving, I'm talking to him, and he has just stopped rattling, very calm, but the second I move in here with my hook, and I stand up a little, and I come in, he kind of, you know, moves, tries to stay as far away from us. I was actually surprised. Look at him. That is the hobby. That is, back up a little. That is the staple. That is the Western Diamondback rattlesnake for you guys. And I think we're going to see more. Woohoo! Look at him. He's, look at the venom all over my tongs. Look at all the venom all over my tongs. It's crazy. He bit my tongs so much. These guys are one of the more striking snakes, but. Woo! It's a little bit. But as you guys can see, his main defense is just rattling, staying back in the loop. I'm back here. He is just rattling, very calm. But the second I move him here with the hook, and I stand up a little, and I come in, he kind of moves, tries to stay far away from us. I was actually surprised I saw him. I just looked up and there's a diamond back. Um, it was a really cool find. Um, what kind of thing? A better area? We can... yeah, okay, well, I think if we just... back up a little, it might be a little right. bit safer. We're we'll right. going to go back and get some more footage. Yeah. Alright. That first. Diamond back of the night, baby. Woo! Look at him. The team had finally found the Western Diamondback rattlesnake. The team explored more of South Phoenix and even climbed to the top of one of the mountains and got this amazing view. Hey guys, so we are just walking looking for some more Diamondback or Blacktailed. Tiger rattlesnakes are kind of our goal, but I think my first ever Diamondback. I'd never caught one. You've been coming here for like seven years. And seven, I caught, and, and here's the thing, guys. I've never seen one. Actually, I saw one. But then I come here, and within minutes of getting here, no, I've No, we've been, only been here for like 15 minutes. I get to say the words I wanted to say for like years, it feels like. Yeah. Diamondback. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what an experience this is. Whew, now I feel accomplished in life. I'd shine a black light in here. Let's see if we get a scorpion. The most common species I've noticed is probably a bark scorpion. So let's see if we get a bark scorpion. Nothing. But guys, we still, guys, the night is still young. We have so long. The rest of the exploration of South Phoenix found no more animals and the team headed back home. But when they got back up to North Scottsdale, they went road cruising to end the night and found yet another Western Diamondback. Hold on, hold on. All, right, all right guys, so we're road cruising here and we found this baby. Not really baby, yeah. a yearling. Yeah, a uh, Western right Diamondback. Here. This guy is so cool. It's like maybe twice as small as the one that we caught earlier today. But yes, yeah, second one of the day. Wow. Yes. And look at how small he is. Yeah. Back up, Alex. Hold on, let yeah. me. Yeah. Dad, maybe the turn light. on the flash. We get the light. Yeah. Wait, Dad, do you think you could maybe take the car and angle it so, um... Pick up the snake if you the snake Yeah. Where am I gonna... Right there, on the driver. Yeah. Here we go. This is where we can see him better, and I feel more. Here we go. But look at that rattle. It's still really pretty. Yeah. Two diamondbacks in one day. In like one night. But look at that. And now, if you guys see, he's much smaller. And guys, if I stay like this, is he gonna bite? No. Because yeah, back, up, back up, Alex. That I get to. Okay. So these guys is if I stay still, they don't bite. But he is. Um. I just kind of tried to stay in front of him, but guys, two Western Diamondbacks, and I know this guy's a Diamondback because it's tail, um, but two of the most feared rattlers in one night. That is, that is absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, guys, we're going to get some, I want to get some photos of him. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys in a second, hopefully. 
we're about to let this guy go. I'm gonna get like one quick video for you know my uh, family. But he is a probably yearling Western Diamondback, beautiful snake. Uh, we are going to be um, releasing him after I get this quick video. So uh, yeah, I got much more still. But there we go, guys. So, yeah, two Diamondbacks in one night. The team had found two Diamondbacks in one night. Animal expert Elias Learn has been coming to Phoenix for seven years to find a diamondback in the wild, and this was the first time he had ever handled a wild western diamondback rattlesnake. With the finding of the two diamondbacks, the exploration came to a close. Thanks so much to the Phoenix Herpetological Society who taught us so much about the Western Diamondback and where to find them. Phoenix is full of incredible wildlife, and we hope the people here will help preserve the amazing creatures here. Thank you so much for watching Dinosaur Wild, and we will see you on the next Wild adventure.